G'day guys, Elfie here. Um, this is Mini Melbourne on Xbox One. Uh, we got a request to, to um, how to install it on an Xbox One, so I did a bit of searching and found this YouTube video, um, which will help you if you don't have access to a computer. Um, this, this particular video I've recorded uses that method with a bit of a tweak that makes, I think, it a lot easier. Um, and you need access to a computer. So let's head over to the computer and just browse to the Mini Melbourne Fuse page and download it. So click on access here and then download the Bedrock Edition, which is the biggest um, biggest tile there. Click on the link. You'll come to a Google Drive link. Um, yours won't quite look like that. Click the download button though. Uh, there might be one in the center of the screen for you. And once it's finished downloading, just browse to where it is. And then you just need to rename it. So you can see I've downloaded it a couple of times. So I'm just going to rename it to Mini Melbourne Bedrock. And I'm going to change the .mc world on the end to .zip. All right. Then extract all those files. Once the files have been extracted, you need to just copy that directory onto a USB stick. So that whole directory, not the stuff, like not the specifics inside it, but just that whole directory, put that on a USB stick. Like so. And now run over to your Xbox and uh, plug it in. So I will do that right now, and I'll be back in a second. Okay, I'm back. So the first thing you need to do is make sure you've got UFO transfer. If you haven't got it already, pause the video and go download it, all right? When you launch that, there should be a little cog in the top corner. If it's not there, go to your settings, head into display and sound, video output, and then video fidelity and overscan. And over on this overscan border there, untick that. So it's probably ticked, untick it, and then you just head back out, go back into it, and that, that little cog will be there. That cog, is really only good for one thing, and that's getting access to the innards of your Xbox. So this takes you to um, that packages thing up the top there is what you really need. But we're going to browse to our USB stick, and that you can see our mini Melbourne Bedrock World file there, or World folder I should say. Head down there and make it tickable, and now select it, and then just go down the bottom there and copy it. And now if you just press back, so the B button, you'll be able to come back to that packages thing. And I want you to select the packages. And now we need to find the Minecraft console thing there. Go in there, head over to local state, games, com.mojang, and then you can go into Minecraft worlds. And then you just paste your world in here. So paste that folder in there. And when it's done, that world is actually in Minecraft. However, you do have to relaunch Minecraft. I'll show you um, if I just go back to Minecraft, which is where we were before, it'll load up um, back into the mini Melbourne world we were in when I started this recording. And if we exit out of that, you will find that the extra world I just put in won't actually be there yet. Um, so you do actually have to quit and relaunch Minecraft. Just wait a second, here it comes. So you can see, if I go in and I press play, that's the mini Melbourne world we were in, the other one isn't there yet. So let's quit Minecraft completely. And now that's done, relaunch it. Um, while it's waiting to relaunch, this will actually work on custom skin packs as well, um, custom resource packs, custom behavior packs possibly, um, 
although you're probably better off bringing them in through worlds anyway but i definitely saw a skin pack folder there i haven't played with it myself yet but i'm pretty sure you'll be able to drag skin packs in using this same method but now we're in we hit play you can see the mini melbourne start one is there so that's the one that we started with go in there and just load it up and you can enjoy mini melbourne on your xbox one maybe if it loads here we go maybe right here we go so here you are in mini melbourne make sure to check out the two books that are available to you that provide you with all of the credits um, and the acknowledgement of country so grab the about mini melbourne book and grab the acknowledgement of country and have a bit of a read of them um, it'll tell you a bit about the project what um, land we're on and also uh, the credits for the creation of this map i hope that helps um, go out start building start sharing um, if you do build anything make sure to share it via hashtag mini melbourne on whatever social media you want um, we are having a look at that and we want to include your builds in updates. So thanks very much for watching. I'll catch you next time.